Well, that's the end of shift four of work. You know, I'm actually getting used to walking this park in the early morning. It's quite, it's quite calming to be honest. It's nice to know juvenile human ever changes. Screw it, I'm off on the swing. No one can stop me. It's the early morning, there's no kids. I run no risk of looking like a paedophile. It's funny how my perspective has changed since I've got this job. I mean, <laughs> I thought I was, you know, so unfortunate before. Because, you know, I wasn't doing anything. But, I don't know. There's, I do like this job, and it certainly pays well. I mean, night jobs always do. I get on with the staff. I've got no problem with management. Well, yeah, I've got no problem with management. It's just me, really, I think. At the end of the day, I... Do I want to be here in about a year thinking the same thoughts of what I could have done? But, on an optimistic note, I get paid tomorrow, so... Yay! I guess I just need to look on the positives of what I've got right now. I mean, it's as my mate Stephen says, like, a great journey begins with a single step, but... I don't know. Mixed feelings as always, I guess, but... I think I'm happy. I mean, I get to treat Izzy with my money. I've, I've already taken her out with the only bit of benefits that I got because I got a job so quickly. And it felt good. It felt really good. Think about how good it will feel just treat it with my own money that I've put hard work into getting. I guess the question that keeps on buzzing around in my head is what next though? Because you now I'm at a point where I could just, you know, just stay there and not necessarily be fulfilled but be stable and content. But at the same time I have university to think about do I want to go there I've got a BBC apprenticeship possibly to think about in either Leeds or London or I could take my mum's advice and travel <sighs> the crossroads are a difficult place to be because you don't really know which path to take <laughs> 